see this. S'more action. Oh my god. Oh my hey, god. Hey, you got a cigarette, baby? Nah, I don't no. smoke. Alright, baby. Thank you. All I do is Ooh, eat. I like that thing. What is that? It just sit on your phone? Yeah, it just sits Where on my phone. Where you got that from? Um, I just got it off Amazon, the interwebs. What is it called? It's a uh, gorilla pod. Yeah, so you're able to put it up, you know, you could throw it around. Yep. Right. Okay. I like that. That's pretty fine. That's oh, yeah. Wonderful. Look, you can even hold your cigarettes down this way. See? Are you serious? Yeah. Well, hold I'm your cigarettes right down. Now. Oh, yeah. I got to edit that, all of this out anyway. But you can put your cigarettes right there. Mm -hmm. It's lit. You can leave me on there. You can. God help me. <laughs> What is up my fellow munchies it's your boy mo here and today we are finally reviewing frying pie i bet right now y'all are all wondering hey mo where's your usual intro well what had happened was mo's dumb butt self didn't do a usual intro because i tried to get to this place to get my frying pie on many times it all started two days ago so I walk up to the ordering window and it's missing the stairs to get to the window. Um, this is really confusing. Y'all all must be wondering, Mo, why does it look like you videotaped on a different day? Well, I tried to come to this place um, yesterday and apparently because I came at like 3.30, they were like, oh, well, we're closed. We don't open till five. Bruh, if I want my pies, I want them before 5 p.m. I don't know what kind of pie place opens after 5 p.m. But guess what? We're going to find out if it lives to the Mo Munchie standard. Stay tuned. Well, apparently they're also not open on Tuesdays. Um, I guess third time's a charm. So if it ain't open after this, Ain't no way I'm gonna be able to review this. Guess what? Spoiler alert. They were open. I guess their time was the charm. Well, time for the review. Well, this is awkward. I guess nobody really expected the rewind sound effect to go away so quickly. So I guess while y'all are waiting, just imagine like bunnies, bears, and you know, cue the awkward elevator music. So it's brulee marshmallow fluff, graham cracker crust. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my god. Guys, now I see why this place only got some crazy hours. Guys, this stuff is good. Oh, it's very good. That's the s'more. This is a s'mores. Y'all gotta get it. It's a must munch. Everything about this is so good, guys. You got like the chocolate mousse filling on the inside. You got the graham crackers. You even got a little, you know, you could dip them in this. Yeah. This guy's a pie connoisseur. This guy's a pie connoisseur. This guy's a pie connoisseur. So good. Graham crackers are a little stale. But other than that, guys, this, this pie is solid. Ooh, the red eye pie. Look at this. The coffee custard. Got the little toffee bits. Yes. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, God. Guys, if y'all like coffee, toffee, and pie, y'all gotta come get this. The combination of different flavors, you got like the slight bitterness from the coffee, you got the chocolate, you got the, the toffee, it gives it that little bit of crunch. Guys, this stuff is the truth. And it's like such a light pie. 
The moment we've been waiting for. Fry time. Buffalo bird is the word. Got your little self a little tin foil right here. Let's take this baby off. We don't need this anymore. But we're not gonna be caught as litter bugs. Buffalo chicken. I guess this is a celery. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's some curling right there. Celery curls. Just generic celery. Palate cleanser. You got your little tomatoes. Green onions. Your buffalo sauce. Let, let, let's get a bite of everything. Ooh, ooh, y'all saw that cheese pull? Oh, look at that. All right. Pretty damn good. You got a little sour cream. Let's, let's get us a piece of fry though. These are definitely homemade fries right here. The chicken seems to be a bit generic, I'm not even gonna lie. But the rest of the ingredients are pretty fresh. Fries, obviously they're gonna be a little soggy cause you know you got the sauce. But all the other ingredients go really well together. I'm very surprised. You got your blue cheese dressing. Guys, this stuff is really good. Fries have excellent flavor and they really like soak up the sauce. Look at, oh, look at that. Oh, cheese pool. This is freaking phenomenal. Generally, like, loaded fries are just like, meh. It doesn't taste like it's got that, that tender love and care that you would get. It's just, like, thrown together. They just throw whatever. The only thing is I wish the chicken was, you know, like, real chicken. I mean, it's still real chicken, but it's, like, packaged chicken. Like, Subway chicken. You would think that all this stuff together, too, would just make it kind of like overwhelming. But man, every bite you take, you can taste every single ingredient separately. And it comes together so, so beautiful. So even though this place took forever to come get a review on, I understand why they got some crazy hours. This place is the truth. Usually places that tend to open at crazy hours have like a lot of hype potential. This definitely met the hype. All right, so the red eye pie. How did it fare against the Mo Munchies scale? I'ma have to give this one a nine munchies out of 10. Guys, this pie is a must munch. Bruh, this stuff was the truth. The coffee, the, to the toffee, the dark chocolate. Guys, like it just came together so perfectly. All right, the s'more Odette. That pie, I'ma have to give a 9.5 munchies out of 10. Guys, that pie was mind blowing. That one is definitely a must munch as well. If you come out here, like the red eye is a special. So I don't know if it's gonna be here all the time, but it's a special. So if you do see it on the menu, go get it. Uh, the s'more Odat, that one is like a consistent one. I've seen that one multiple times every time I came up to that little menu, saw it. S'more Odat, go get it. And lastly, Buffalo bird is the word. I'm gonna have to rate these 8.5 munchies out of 10. These fries has so much flavor. Everything, the fries, the, the tomatoes, the celery, the blue cheese, sour cream. Guys, like just everything together was so beautifully put. Unfortunately, I do wish that they had real chicken, not that Subway chicken. But overall, guys, it was phenomenal. This like place as a whole is a must munch. You need to be coming here. Not even just walking, run. Run yourself over here. But remember, you can only come here after five. Don't come here before five because they ain't about that life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Smash that subscribe. And as always, until next time, munch on. Buffalo work. I don't know what's going on over there, but what, what I'm telling you the truth. This is the truth.